Let's look at lesson number 17. We need to evaluate the expression a positive 2 plus a negative 2. Well, we already know that the positive 2 is the red 2. Plus means we have to place on a negative 2. That will be a cube with the number 2. Well, the red 2 and the green 2 together are opposite, so their value is going to be worth 0. It's like finding $2 and losing $2. So the value of this expression then will be zero. Let's go on to the next expression. This one says, find the sum of negative three, that would be a green three, plus a negative five. So a green three and a green five is gonna have a, a, green, a value of green eight. So the sum of negative three and a negative five will be negative eight. Okay, let's go on to the next example. Now we have to add a negative 3 and a positive 5. This is a negative 3, and this is a positive 5. There are a few ways of doing an example like this. One way to know is to notice that you have more reds than greens, and so the answer will be a red 2 or a positive 2. Another way to do it is to rename the red 5 using a red 3 and a red 2. And now, from what we learned before, a green 3 and a red 3 are worth 0, and so the answer is a positive 2. Okay, let's go on to the next example. Here, we have subtraction. From a negative 10, we need to subtract a negative 5. That is, from a green 10, we have to subtract a green 5. Well, obviously, we're going to end up with a green 5. Another way to do it is to start out with a negative 10 in this format. And now when you take away a negative 5, you see that the value is negative 5. Now how about this? This looks a bit more sophisticated. From a positive 5, we need to take away a negative 3. Here's a positive 5. Now I need to take away a green 3, but wow, there's no green 3 there. So we have to use some ingenuity, we have to use a concept learned in level 2, and that is, to subtract a negative 3, let's add a positive 3 and a negative 3, since together they have a value of 0. So this expression is really worth positive 5, because this is only worth 0. However, from this form of positive 5, I can now subtract a negative 3, and so the answer is a positive 8. Now let me show you that example one more time. If I have a positive 5 and I need to take away a negative 3, I'm going to add a pair of opposites. Then I can take away my negative 3 and the answer is a positive 8. In this example, we have a negative 6 and we need to subtract a positive 2, but there's no red 2 subtra subtract here. So why don't we do what we did before? Let's add a red 2 and a green 2 since they have a value of 0. And now I can take away my positive 2, and so the answer will be a green 8 or a negative 8. So please continue and try the next example on your own.